these times so plagued with fractured families, it's really important to look at the root of our division. Try and make it work. We're just friends who had sex for a few weeks. That's it. It's not serious. I mean, that's the reason why I can't see you anymore. Is you're not trying to build anything. And I mean, I consider myself to be a little bit more than a piece of ass. I just, I deserve more. Okay, are we done here? What's happening to you to make you so cold? I'm not cold, I'm just being realistic. Well, realistically, it feels good to feel and to be alive. And you should try it sometime. Why is it so hard for us to stay together? First and foremost, there's a historic history of the breaking up of the black family that goes back to slavery um, and emasculating men in the sense of putting their women in a separate position of power, which makes the men feel less capable of being with society on all levels considers manhood. With slavery, uh, racism, the breakup, the destruction, the robbery, the rape, the war on the family, you know, because when the uh, slave owner would violate the woman, um, that's the ultimate, you know, the ultimate destruction, the ultimate crime. But somehow the uh, the husband and wife, the black husband and wife, were managed to overcome that, raise the half-white child of the slave owner, st and, and stay together and fight through all of that, fight through the abuse. And somehow they were able to keep it together, you know, in spite of that. And I think that for those men that... Uh, had to raise that child that wasn't theirs, that was difficult. For those women that would love that child, raise that child no differently than any of their other children, um, that must have been difficult. But they were able to stay together, to love each other, to grow, and to, to, to progress. I think it's like asking which came first, the chicken or the egg, because we came here and, and the, 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 the colonizers' main objective was to break us down, and they were successful, you know, as far as ripping children from their mother's wombs, ripping, ripping families apart, they were able to do that. And that, there's a, a history there, there's a legacy that, 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 that I, that my life now is built upon that, that, that legacy. So. You know, if you don't have a model for how to sustain family, it's that much easier to walk away from it, I feel. If uh, you sleep with somebody and a child comes out of that, you have to, you have to you reconcile in your mind that, you know, this is your seed. This is something that you need to nurture God, protect, cultivate, but if you haven't had that instilled in your mind by somebody, you won't know how to do it. And I think that being embedded in this society, you know, over the course of hundreds of years, being stripped of who we were, 
rendered our men, my father, his father, our great grandfathers, from they, they I don't think they have the ability to tell us how to be men because from one generation to the next, we've been stripped of that narrative. What, what does it mean to be an African male? I, black men are upset with black women, black women are upset with black men, but no one is looking at, or not enough people are looking at the root causes of our issues, which happens to not be one another. Um, so until we really deal with that trauma experience, and not only the experience, but deal with the reality that we're embedded still in a culture that is not our own. Until we become committed to creating relationship structures outside of this American culture, um, we're gonna have the same problems that we're having. And we're going to find reasons, not really good reasons, but justifiable reasons in our limited thinking, um, to stay apart. And unfortunately, um, mainstream media is the main vehicle by which this is propagated and marketed. And we're all suffering, but black children are definitely suffering as a result of this reality. The unfortunate side effect of being in a culture who has had to, um, for decades, divorce a very overt warmth to their loved ones for fear of them being sold off, well, the trickle effects are, some of that shows up now. Oh, he's nothing. Oh, she's nothing. She, oh, she ain't nothing to brag about. She better keep bringing home those A's. And you know, it's, it's this sort of thing that what you're really hearing, and actually, um, there's a wonderful book called Post-Traumatic Slave Syndrome, which I think should be in every single school in America. It's a really wonderful book, but it is addressed in that book. Uh, Dr. Uh, Joy DeGray Leary. Drama and projection and whining and expectation and you telling everything you know that's wrong with everybody else, but can't really analyze where you're coming from, where that and then in the space of how you quote unquote feel to still make a new choice. Right, to, to get past the, oh, but it hurts, right? To like absorb the pain and know that nobody can make you anything. You choose what you want to affect you. So for us, we have to understand that compassion is actually the move. That uh, aggression is not the same as assertion. <laughs> that to be a good brother, to be a good man is not based on these violent precepts. Sit and fuss for a while. We can pretend, but we don't never really want to be a part. And that's between our hearts. We could be distant for miles. We could be far away, though, right in the next room. And I'm always here to find you. If everything we need is right here, let's stay together. Let's stay together. Everything we need, everything we need is right here. Let's stay together. Let's stay together. We can pretend that the things we can't buy yourself can change the way we feel. But I know it isn't real. And if you ever need me, know that I do everything I can. Everything I can. Let's stay together, let's stay together. If everything we need, everything we need is right here. Let's stay together, let's stay together. Oh, let's stay, let's stay together. Let's stay together, let's stay, let's stay. Let's stay together. Let's
Spread.